I'm David Lee. I'm a full-time painter, visual artist and an illustrationist. I'm based in KL. I graduated from New York, a Bachelor of Fine Arts. From there, I was working in fashion design for Donna Karen actually, right? And then when I moved back to Malaysia, I stopped painting for a very, very long time. I started again as a way to help with my anxiety. I think from that is just how it started and I just started painting again. This series is basically my life in the past, present and hopefully the future on a canvas. A lot of it has to do with childhood memories, uh, what I went through, the fears I have, the happiness. It's basically memory lane. I try to fit everything in a canvas. A lot of these animals, they are, it signifies people in my life. They are uh, symbolic to me. If you notice, the frog appears in every painting. I, look at the frog uh, sometimes when I look at myself because the frog can stay in a certain place for a long time and you always wonder what goes through your mind. So a lot have to do with the way I think of how I encounter life, the past, dark places that I've been and all that, right? So there are all these animals are uh, significant to my life and also the memories I have with them. A lot of it has to do with the visit to the zoo, like the rhino. Also all these animals when I was little was I would say my favourite animals are the ones that I'm very keen to, to look at when I visit the zoo. This painting in Jay Hamid is actually based on a real blind person that I've known when I was little. So Jay Hamid used to come to our house to tender our garden once a week. So every time he comes, uh, he will fascinate me with his stories because when he was little, he went through the Japanese occupation and will tell me the stories about what he went through and when, when the Japanese came. It's also significant to the elephant because it was one of my favorite rides that when I was little, the first thing we did was I would pass on my parents to go on an elephant ride. So the way he walked, his mannerism always reminded me of Inche Hamid. So basically this is a painting, it's, it's like a tribute to him. White Rabbit Candy is one of my favourite candy when I was growing up as a kid and I think it's one of Malaysian favourite candy when you're growing up as well in that period. So I remember uh, before my tuition classes, uh, I was I think I'm in primary school, I was stopped by this Chinese karai runcit in Jalan Law where I would buy loads of them and, and eat them in class. Lah. So it's, it's significant to me when I was growing up. Ham Yu Falan Po It's what is my, one of my favourite Chinese dish So it's basically pork and clay pot with uh, salted fish And also the fact that when I was little When I used to go to the wet market with my grandma And every time when she stopped by the butcher shop There will always be a pig's head hanging uh, I remember especially the head used to scare me as a kid So I will remember when she would do her shopping then I would close my eyes the entire time or even before we head over there when I knew that it was in sight I would close my eyes so it's one of the fears that I have as a child going to the market plus the fact that it's one of my favorite dish that is why I put it in a canvas I think art is very subjective right to me what I like you might not like it but I think to sum it up when someone look at a piece of art, regardless if it's abstract, regardless if it's realism, it doesn't matter. But to me, it's as long as if you look at a piece of art and it moves you, it, it, it stirs something inside you, an emotion where you can't explain it. That to me is art. Mungkin nanti sums it up as maybe later. Maybe one day. Maybe one day I can be an established painter. Maybe one day life will be better.